This study was performed in a cadera lab at the Department of Pharmacology, University of Washington, Seattle. Voltage-gated sodium channel regulate neuronal excitability by initiation and propagation of action potentials. Truncation mutation and other severe loss of function mutations in the SCN1A gene, which encodes the poor forming subunit of NAV1.1 sodium channel, cause Dervais syndrome, a rare genetically dominant intractable epilepsy. Dervais syndrome symptoms begin during the first year of life with seizures often associated with fever and progress to prolonged refractory seizures and frequent episodes of status epilepticus. However, Unlike other generalized epilepsy disorders, Dervais syndrome is accompanied by characteristic neuropsychiatric comorbidities, including hyperactivity, impaired social interaction, and severe cognitive deficits. Studies of mouse genetic models with deletion of NAV1.1 demonstrated that Dervais syndrome is caused by disinhibition due to selective reduction in the excitability of GABAergic inhibitory neurons without a corresponding change in the activity of excitatory pyramidal neurons. However, it was unclear which types of interneurons are involved in causing epilepsy and the associated comorbidities in Dervais syndrome. To answer that question, we employ the Creolox method. We use two different Cree lines, one in which Cree is expressed under the parvalbumin promoter, leading to specific deletion of NAV1.1 only in parvalbumin expressing interneurons and a second Cree line in which Cree is expressed under the somatostatin promoter, leading to selective deletion of NAV1.1 in somatostatin expressing interneurons. We also bred those two Cree lines together to achieve a simultaneous deletion of NAV1.1 in both parvalbumin and somatostatin expressing interneurons, resulting in deletion of NAV1.1 in about 75% of the brain's interneurons. On the cellular level, deletion of NAV1.1 in parvalbumin expressing interneurons resulted in reduced excitability due to increased threshold and rear base. This deletion was sufficient to cause epilepsy and these mice had thermally induced seizures and abnormal cortical activity. Dysfunction of NAV1.1 in parvalbumin neurons was also sufficient to cause social interaction deficits as observed in the three-chamber social interaction test. Deletion of NAV1.1 selectively in somatostatin expressing interneurons also led to increased threshold and reduced excitability, demonstrating the importance of NAV1.1 for the excitability of multiple types of interneurons. Dysfunction of somatostatin expressing neurons was also sufficient to cause epilepsy with thermally induced seizures as well as spontaneous abnormal cortical activity. Additionally, Mice with selective deletion of NAV1.1 in somatostatin expressing interneurons were hyperactive and traveled longer distances in the open field test. Deletion of NAV1.1 simultaneously in both parvalbumin and somatostatin expressing interneurons had synergistic effect on epilepsy, with earlier onset of seizure susceptibility and longer duration of thermally induced seizures. Moreover, in addition to autistic like features and hyperactivity, Mice with combined deletion of NAV1.1 in both types of interneurons had impairment of long-term context-dependent fear memory. Together, we showed that the multifaceted phenotype of Dervais syndrome can be genetically dissected, revealing interneuron-specific effects on autistic-like behaviors and hyperactivity, but synergy in causing epilepsy, premature death, and deficits in long-term sp spatial memory. These results show that multiple disease traits can arise from similar functional deficits caused by loss of function of NAV1.1 in different types of interneurons. Thank you, and I hope you'll enjoy reading our paper.